Hey, good evening, guys. This is Brett Douglas, your favorite landscaper. Hey, just wanted to um, kind of go over uh, a new project we're working on. Every day we start a new one. Um, we've been very blessed to, you know, do good, honest work, and so we always, um, you know, have no problem selling jobs. So here we are in a customer's house over in Deltona, Florida. Um, a little bit out of my league. Usually I'm a D-Berry boy, but we're moving upstream, helping our neighbors. And uh, basically what we have is a great-looking house. Um, we just want to change up some things. Uh, we definitely want to go to a low maintenance um, type landscape install. So we're going to do some different things. We're going to take out some existing shrubbery that's there that uh, just really doesn't do a whole lot. We've got needlepoint holly, a ligustrum. There's a crepe myrtle buried in the back. We've got some Indian hawthorns, some vines, things like that. We're going to tear all this out. We're going to take it down to the bare um, bed area, and then we're going to rock. Or we're going to uh, use our our uh, fabric rock uh, weed barrier and then we're going to go to a rock um, for a ground cover so we got to do a little bit of prep work uh, you can see we've got some gorgeous rocks sitting out here we've got uh, 10 tons sitting in the driveway and um, and some of this we had white marble chips but we're going to go ahead and go to the river rock which is a lot more uh, uh, it's it's just a more of a Florida you know natural look to it so what we're going to do is we're going to take out all this plant material we're going to keep this uh, crepe myrtle here this Lakers from Indica this is a Bosch and pink we're going to keep that one and then uh, we're going to keep the one that's over on the right. And then we've got a beautiful area in the backyard. I'm going to walk over and show you all that real quick. But I just kind of wanted to show you the before photos of everything. We're going to go ahead and uh, get started on doing the bush tear out today. It's Saturday. And then tomorrow we're going to get get this massive amount of rock pile here done. And uh, just to let you all know, guys, sometimes when you're dealing with rock, rock is a premier preferred ground cover but it's also very very expensive this is about twelve hundred dollars that's sitting right here in the driveway um, that's just the cost of the actual rock and then uh, your labor even though we give give a good price um, typical labor is 150 to 100 and you know 80 a ton so you've got an investment here that's probably three thousand dollars that's sitting there but that's going to just you know you never have to replace it so whereas mulch you'd have to kind of keep replacing every year so we got a long-term solution just a lot of money man you're paying probably three to four times more than a mulch install but in the long run it's well worth it so anyway i wanted to show you this real quick here's another one of your white marble chip beds that we're going to change out um and in fact here's a neighbor with some of the the river rock see how it's nice and brown there and it looks really pretty um you know it just just looks really healthy this is where you need to add a little bit of rock to it but typically um you know this is a crepe kind of uh wild uh Sweet Irvani, Viburnum, Odor Tisserum, we're going to trim back for them. But I wanted to show you this, uh, gentleman spent a lot of money last year, had a nice pathway put in. Um, you can kind of see back here, we're actually going to transplant some of those plants back there. But again, I want to show you, he's got a beautiful, beautiful investment back here. Spent a lot of money to have a beautiful retaining wall and fire pit area built. And um, unfortunately, when you're dealing with burning material, embers, and wood and stuff, uh, it's always probably a better better thing to go with the rocks. So they were they were very wise um, when we were looking at budgeting and how to do it. They just decided to go ahead and spend the money, and we're going to rock in on these areas, which is just really nice. You, you don't have to worry about any embers getting away and getting in your mulch. So we're going to go ahead and uh, clean all this up. We're going to uh, get this pinned in with new fabric, get it all rocked up, and then uh, down the road, I'm going to help them, uh, just want to work, work with them on maybe uh, getting some uh, patio sealers and pave this in. Obviously, when we deal with customers and we start doing stuff for them, we don't uh, nickel and dime them. We start being friends with our clients. So, you know, if he wants to do this on a weekend, I'll come in and just help him. Um, there's there's not any money value for me to, to charge a customer. I think they usually do like $2 a foot, but it's ridiculous. He's already spent good money with us. We just want to make him happy. It's not all about nickel and diamond, but it's he's got a huge investment here, and one day when he wants to sell the property, we want to really make it stand out. Um, it's all about reputation. When you do a good job, do what you say you're going to do and help people out. It really helps you guys. So people who watch my video that are other competitors or they're, you know, guys that are in the business, you know, be mindful, man. Don't always charge for everything. There's some things you need to do pro bono when you're already there, and it just builds your reputation. So we're going to really be excited to see how this pops out when it looks. We may end up ending up bleaching his fence for him while we're here. Um, just, you know, if we're doing the ceiling out here, we'll probably do the fence while we're there. But I just can't wait to see this with a rock, man. They made a wise choice, and I'm really excited to help bring it to them. So we're going to uh, put a ligustrum in over there, I think, or a crepe myrtle. And I'm real excited, and we'll catch up with you when we start. All right, thanks a lot. God bless.